to The Millie Life. My name is Danielle. I am the owner of The Millie Life and The Millie Life YouTube channel. I am so excited that you are here. If you are new here, I post new motorcycle videos every Thursday and new exercise videos every Friday. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss out. If you want more of The Millie Life, you can follow us on all the social medias at The Millie Life, all one word, Check it out. Happy to have you here. Happy to have you a part of this growing community. <clears throat> uh, we're all about movement here. Today, oh jeez, there's a lot of debris in the road. There was a big storm that blew through here where I live this week and we actually, we were without power for two days. <laughs> um, so there's still a ton of debris in the road, but a ton of trees were down. As you can see, kind of all over the place um, here. So I'm gonna have to ride a little slower, be careful. Uh, so today we are talking about two of my all time favorite books that got my ass in gear. Uh, so let's not waste any more time. Let's go. This is hard to see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lots of trees down. We are going to step away from that crazy road for a second, but don't worry, we'll be back on the motorcycle in a moment. The first book that I wanted to talk about today was You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. This is a New York Times bestseller. It is one of my favorite books, a great way to shift your mindset and make changes in your life now, whether that's changes in your finance, romantic relationships, you want to laugh more, you just have that underlying feeling of unrest and unhappiness, check this book out. We're going to head back out onto the bike, hopefully miss all those sticks and branches, and I'll tell you a little bit more. I was recommended this book when I was participating in um, Monet. I still sell some of those products, still stand by the products and love it. Just not a huge fan of the uh, environment. Anyways, so one of the best parts of my experience with Monate was the self-development. It uh, really pushed me and encouraged me to start taking a look at that and incorporating that into my lifestyle. And one of those books that was such a huge source of confidence, such a huge, oh my goodness, these roads are massively blocked. Okay. That was such a huge source of um, change in my life was You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. And the title kind of says it all. It, it, it talks about how much a badass you, oh my God, that was a stop sign. <laughs> you could not see it because all the trees are down. Okay, what the fuck is going on? It is such a great book to read, to really shift and change your mindset and move away from some of the limiting beliefs that you've been telling yourself. Oh my God. Woo, this is like a roller coaster of a road. All right, what do we got here? Holy view. Oh, okay. Please don't turn into a gravel road. <laughs> okay, good, there's a stop sign. <laughs> Okay, um, so just a huge mindset shift about thinking about yourself as a total badass and it talks about all different areas of your life, relationships, work, um, it speaks to depression and just kind of teaching you how to be your biggest proponent, your biggest fan, how to love yourself. Um, it touches on manifestation and visualization a little bit, uh, but it's, it's, it's a great book to shift your mindset. If you're seeing the world with kind of through a gray lens, this is a great one for you, um, and I've read it, I think, twice now. Um, I absolutely love it just because of how it can take 
it, it makes you realize what kind of limiting beliefs that that you have, or it makes you realize that sometimes how you think is limiting and that you can change it. And I think that's where we get stuck, that when we feel depressed and when we we feel anxious or we feel like we can't make a change in our life, we, uh, we can, we can change the way we think about it, we can change our perspective. And uh, coming at it thinking that you're a total and complete badass really does the trick for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope it does for you too. It got a lot, um, some of the more negative reviews on it is, um, it talks about how it minimizes depression. And I don't, not for me, I did not buckle my helmet. Okay. Some of the more negative reviews talk about how it minimizes depression. And that is not my perception of it, but I could totally see how you might um, might take it. Some of the advice that way, you know, like if you're depressed, just stop thinking about being depressed. And I, I think she's more speaking to the limiting belief around it that there's no way to change your thoughts, there's no way to change your circumstances, and that's you know, there, there's always something. You know, whether it's going to a therapist, medication acupuncture, essential oils, meditation, journaling, you know, but it, it, it's, you know, it may not be for everyone, but it, it is one of my go-to books. I provided um, the link below for you guys. It's on Amazon. Go and check it out. I got the paperback book because I'm the type of person that likes to hold a book in my hand and read it. Um, I feel like I spend so much of my time and day looking at a screen that if I'm going to read a book, I want a break from it, and I want to, um, I want to hold it in my hand, feel it, and read it a different way. Is anybody else like that, or do you guys like the electronic books? I'm also a huge fan of, um, audiobooks. I think that's a great way to experience a book, especially people that are strapped for time or who spend a lot of time in the car. Um, but all of those options are available at that Amazon link below check it out i promise you won't be disappointed um definitely will help change the way that you um you see some things in life and if not well maybe it'll inspire you um to read a different book or some sort of action to to change your life so that's the first one the second book i wanted to talk about today is becoming supernatural by dr joe dispenza and now the reason I've got in a screenshot of the cover is because I listen to this via audiobook, via YouTube, um, but you can buy it on Amazon. The link is below. They have the hard copy, Kindle, and the audiobook available. Uh, the cool thing about this is it has a lot of scientific backing behind what's said in this book, but let's head back to the road so we can chat about it a little bit more. This book was such a pivotal book for me in terms of my depression, my anxiety, turning me on to meditation, and why I believe that is an integral part of self-care loving yourself, becoming less emotionally reactive and just more at peace internally, because I was not. Um, I struggled, I've struggled my, uh, most of my adult life with depression and anxiety and meditation has been, um, meditation therapy with a combination of um, medication, have uh, finally gotten me to this point where I feel like I am, um, I feel really stable. I have my days where I feel more depressed than others or more anxious than others, but it's absolutely not debilitating like it was at times. So um, currently I'm off of medication. I'm trying to meditate on a daily basis and um, I see a therapist once a week no shame in saying that and I think it's something that everybody could absolutely benefit from so 
So, anyways, getting back to the book. Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza. You used to be able to listen to it on YouTube, like some like people uploaded the audiobook version of it. Um, and I would highly, highly, highly recommend the audio over the hard copy. Um, it is a rather large book. And for me, it was way more beneficial to listen to it in chunks while I was driving versus sitting down and reading it. It talks about how we become addicted to our problems, how we become addicted to the anxiety and the depression cycle. And just like any other habit in our life, it becomes a habit and we crave it. And so when we're not anxious or when we're not depressed, we crave that and create things in our life or remember uh, thoughts in our life that are anxiety provoking or depression invoking and that cycle starts all over again. So he talks about the power of meditation and um, the power of visualization. So visualizing the life that you want and living in those emotions of that life, those emotions of joy, of gratitude, of peace, of calm, whatever it is. And trying to live in those emotions and see your future happening and live like you are in your future and what you want and what you dream of. Um, and the power of that and the power of letting go of how you used to think and um, instead of living in the emotions of what you fear and what you're scared of and the limiting beliefs about what your life is and what can happen to you instead going the opposite direction there um, and he has a couple of different meditations the one that I have benefited from the most is his morning meditation and I'll link that below as well as the book um, it's on Spotify um, if you are a Spotify user and you can find other meditations by him on uh, YouTube but the morning meditation and the evening meditation are ones that I did religiously for I think I think 30 days and I such saw such a huge improvement in my mental state my levels of anxiety my levels of depression it was fantastic so that was the catalyst that was the book that really kind of um, turned me on to meditation um, I use the app insight timer now and I kind of dabble in different meditations but when I first started I just listened to his morning one and his evening one twice a day um, he also has some other ones about um, energy center blocking um, so in um, Eastern medicine there um, there are seven energy centers in the body um, starting at the bottom of your tailbone and reaching all the way above to the top of like above the top of your head about uh, six inches to a foot and when these energy centers get blocked um, different things can manifest in your body so he has a, an energy center meditation where there are different breathing techniques that you can use to move that blocked energy around um, you know and different energy systems being blocked you know might you might experience different things um, I have to go back through and read that but that's another one and you can find that on YouTube uh, it it really guys it honestly changed my life um, and you might think that I am a totally and weird and bizarre combination of a human being but this is who I am I ride big motorcycles I'm a tough badass chick who meditates and teaches people how to move their body that's me <laughs> so I hope you check these books out I've provided the links below you are a badass by Jen Sincero and becoming supernatural by dr. Joe Dispenza you definitely definitely want to check those out. The links are below. You definitely want to check those out. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I don't care what you believe in. If you believe in the universe or God or Allah or Buddhist. Um, I think these two books are great human development books and can really help change your mindset. Um, and help you to just feel better, feel more at peace and feel more calm. Um, 
and I think we could all use a little bit of that um, these days. Because who doesn't want to feel more at peace, more calm? And with meditation, I mean, I probably should do a whole thing on meditation. I freaking love it. But I would start out with a minute, two minutes tops. It's, it's really weird at first to sit by yourself and um, meditate. I would highly, highly, highly recommend doing a guided meditation. Um, I am not at the point where I can just meditate on my own. I really like having the guided variations of that. So check those books out. Links are below. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would love, love to hear from you guys. As always, I'm Danielle. This is The Millie Life. And until next time, I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.